Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to today's lecture. This is regarding the anatomy syllabus of MRCS part A exam. So the anatomy part of MRCS part exam, this part is very very important because it uh, carry a big marks among the MRCS syllabus for MRCS part A. So first of all, let's see here. First of all here, the MRCS part A is uh, divided into two parts. One of them is the paper one which is applied basic science and it carries about 180 marks and the second part which is the paper two so the paper two it is the principle of surgery in general so it is 120 marks so these 300 marks are in mrcs party among the paper one it uh, has 180 marks and paper two 120 marks so this is uh, total 300 marks of mrcs part a exam so let's see here so this is paper one applied basic science on 80 question total and among them applied surgical anatomy that means the anatomy it carries 75 question in total so the anatomy it has 75 questions among the 180 questions of part a so the anatomy it occupy a great part or greater part of paper a and we can see here it is a big percentage and which is the 41 percent so it is very very important that the paper one of mrcs party it carries about 41.67 marks so it is the huge huge marks of the paper one and here we can see uh, the among these uh, uh, 75 questions among the 75 question the 63 question from the original anatomy that means the anatomy which is usually read by us such as the thorax abdomen superior extremity inferior extremity abdomen and pelvis and head and neck area so these contents about 63 marks then we can see surgical related embryology and development that means in the embryology part eight question and then surface and imaging anatomy it is four question so the 75 marks of anatomy it is distributed by 63 in the general uh, regional anatomy eight question in surgically related embryology and development and four from the surface and imaging anatomy so now see the details of the parts of the anatomy syllabus so here we can see first of all regional anatomy and this regional anatomy it is about 63 question among them in the thorax it is number six then in the abdomen it is 15 pelvis 4 and perineum 2 so in this slide we can see that the abdomen it has the greater part of this number and you can see this is the 15 marks so in the abdomen it is about the 15 marks which is the greater part of this regional anatomy part among the 63 question 15 question are from this abdomen and in the abdomen there is the abdominal wall and cavity then abdominal viscera and vessels so viscera vessels and abdominal wall they are equally important for the abdomen syllabus of the anatomy that we can see in the pelvic part there is four question and perineum two question so there is very well focused area which we have to cover during the preparation of mrcs part a exam so in the anatomy question we have, first of all we have to read thorax then abdomen and in the abdomen abdominal wall and cavity then viscera and vessels then pelvis and perineum then in the letter part here we can see there is the limbs and in the limb area there is 15 questions so this is another another big region in anatomy area which is limbs that means the upper limbs and lower limbs here we can see the upper limb and breast it is about eight question and in case of lower limb it is seven question so this limb part also very very important for the anatomy syllabus because it carries 15 marks on the other hand we can see the abdomen it also contains the 15 marks so the anatomy uh, in anatomy part abdomen and limbs they carries about 30 marks so it is the 
greater portion of the regional anatomy then here we can see the spine that means the spinal cord and their contents they from there about three question arises and here we can see in the head and neck region it is a total 10 question and among the 10 question five from the head area and five from the neck area five from the head area that means the uh, skull and skull then the uh, brain which lies in the cranial cavity and the cranial nerve and their uh, distribution and also the ventricles so and the blood vessel which supplies the head area uh, the, from their five question and from the neck also the neck uh, viscera or uh, neck muscle and from the blood vessel of the neck muscles of the neck bones of the neck from there another five question then here we can see the brain um, this brain part is uh, separated from head neck area actually the brain is separated from this head neck area and this brain also contain six marks so a head neck and brain area it is total 16 marks so it is another important area and here then we can see the autonomic nervous system so the autonomic nervous system it contains two marks that means the sympathetic nerve and the parasympathetic nervous system and then here we can see the embryology and development so from the embryology total eight questions and among the eight questions one must from the thorax on from the perineum and on from the head neck area so this is the embryology that means uh, we have to read the embryology of the all parts of the uh, all system of the body but superficially it is not so deep to read uh, because it is the entrance exam and the examiner uh, ask the question which is favorable for the student and it is more superficial so don't be panic don't be upset it will be very easy question in the exam then in the th uh, last part here the surface and imaging anatomy and from here four question and in this four question one must be from the head and neck area so four question from the imaging and surface anatomy and this image usually very easy uh, uh, they identify some of the bony prominence and maybe muscle maybe foramen so it will be very easy uh, don't be upset this question also very very easy for us and finally uh, this is the total 75 marks from the anatomy and from there first of all here we can see from the thorax it is six marks abdomen and limbs 15 and 15 marks that means total 30 marks so this portion is very very important abdomen and limbs because here we can see this is the 75 marks and among the 75 marks 30 marks from two regions which is the abdomen and limbs so this area should be focused very importantly because this portion contains the greater part of the marks then here we can see this is the pelvis from pelvis 4 question from perineum 2 from spine 3 head and neck area this is 10 and from the brain it is 6 then autonomic nervous system that means the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system from here two marks and embryology eight marks surface anatomy and imaging four marks so total 75 marks of anatomy so in anatomy total 75 of marks and it is the greatest part here here we can see this is the 41.67 percent of total 180 question of paper on of mrcs part a so uh, it carries a better marks in mrcs part a paper one among this 180 marks so especially focus uh, we should focus especially on the anatomy because anatomy carries a greater marks and it will uh, keep us um, to hold the mrcs part exam and pass very easily so let's uh, uh, start our free version for mrcs part a and this syllabus you should follow to reach early completion of your preparation thank you all